So the first thing I'm going to put on here, and I'll admit it's easier to see on here. Sorry, I tried to make the photocopy as dark as I could so you could see the in-between lines. But I'm going to put on y equals 1, right? That's important. So here, I think, is where I should have y equals 1. Just, there we go. Yeah, it's cheating. I know. Sorry. Now, there's y equals 1. Okay. There's also a part that I'm going to highlight so that I can ignore it. What part is that? Yeah, just this guy in here. Just little strip between negative 3 and negative 2. Okay, can I just make sure I've got everyone's attention? Just pens out of your hands for a second and look up. Just so I make sure that I'm not losing anyone. Okay, now I've got this part that I'm going to ignore. I've got this y equals 1, I should have labeled that. I've got this y equals 1 in order to help me work out some important points. And I'm going to start to think about what they are right now. Firstly, I'm going to look for where the original graph has y equals 0. What x values will give me y equals 0? Rasen. Okay, minus 2 is here. And minus 3 is here. Now, in the previous question, I asked you to go ahead and draw some fat blobs here rather than crosses like I did anywhere else, right? Has anyone worked out why I did that? Anyone? Ian, what are you thinking? Ah, so you notice, right? Because it's the intercept, right? And we've told ourselves to ignore this part down here. The graph stops. It doesn't keep on going, right? Now, we want to know when you're graphing this, right? Just like when you're doing an inequality on the number line, if you were doing a number line like this, and I wanted you to say, OK, here is an inequality like this. And that's 3 or something like that, right? I need to know, can I equal 3 or not? That's important information to me. And you would either put a hollow circle or you would put a filled circle. Now, in this case here, I've asked you to put in a filled circle. Why is that? Why isn't it hollow? Gary? Yeah, that's right. I'm allowed to go there, aren't I? The square root of 0. You can totally take the square root of 0. It's 0, right? And it's the same deal here. And any other time your original graph is 0, you can exist there. OK, very good. What were the other two important points? Yeah. The number line will be like that. Yeah, it's going to go right all the way. Um, I can see this point here and also this point here where I intersected y equals 1, right? So what's the square root of 1? It's just 1. So I'm going through there and there. What other values did you see that were useful? Um, I can see a couple of spots where I've got y equals 4. Now just be careful here. It's harder to see on your printout, but that doesn't line up with here. It's just a little bit to the side. So I'm going to draw carefully from there. And then I've got a cross right there. Did I do that right? Yep, that's 1, that's 2. You with me? Yep. Same deal over here. Is this starting to look familiar? Our original function has symmetry. So when we take the square root of it, it's also going to have symmetry, right? It's the same thing on both sides, right? All right, was there any other values you could see that were useful? Two. Uh, you could probably do two, but that's a bit hard to do. I mean, I, I would like some nice values if I can. And I go high enough, what do you see? Nine. I see 9. I think I heard Luara, did you say it as well? Yep. So if I take the square root of 9, which is all the way up here, what should that come down to on my new function? Three. Should come down to 3. Very good. Like so. And it's the same thing over here. OK. Uh, whoops, I've gone too far. Sorry. There we go. All right, I want to do one last pair of points. Do you remember last time I looked for where a quarter was? Do you remember that? Why was a quarter a useful point for me? Because the square root of a quarter, and I'm taking square roots of everything, is a half. It's a nice, easy spot to find. So where am I equal to a quarter? Uh, it looks to me like the original graph is a quarter about there. Do you agree with that? Yeah. So my new graph is going to be just above that at a half. Right there? And it's the same deal over on the other side. I'm going to be just above. Oh, that's heavy. OK. Except it's kind of sunny over there, which is weird. OK, anyway. Yeah, sort of. All right. Are you ready to go? Ready to draw this thing? OK, now can I actually, for this part, eyes up for a minute, pens down. Because what I'm going to draw is probably similar to what you got, but it'll be different. You're asking about these two, right? So on the original graph here, the original graph is a quarter. My new graph is going to be the square root of that, which is a half. Okay. All right, here's my best shot. Here's what I got. Okay. Now, can I ask you to put your pens down and look up for a second? 
and compare, thanks Shebo, compare what you've got with what I've got, okay? Now, maybe you thought, oh, I did the previous one, right? And we got this um, sideways parabola-ish looking thing, right? And you're like, the points that I'm plotting on this new one look suspiciously similar to that, right? So you look and you're like, yeah, it looks like it's doing that thing, but you might notice, can you take a ruler? Take a ruler and put it against where you've got these values here, uh -huh. right? Now, if you place a ruler on those three x's, you should notice it's pretty much bang on a straight line, OK? Uh, you can even measure, right? There's like this rise over run, and it's consistent, OK? There's only one little part. Oh, by the way, same thing over here, right? Same thing over here. There's only one little bit that bucks that trend. It's just, just this teeny bit here. Do you notice that? It's like there's some weird quantum weirdness going on there. But everything else, you're getting a straight line. Now, why should that be exactly what you expect? Uh, well, because the parabola is x squared. Right. So if you were to square root it, you'd get rid of the squared, and you'd have an exact x value. Very good. Now, I want to repeat what Zaki just said, because it's so helpful, right? What we started with was a parabola, which is of the kind x squared, right? So when you take the square root whoops, of something like x squared, right? in fact, if you think back, that should be, we have a definition for this. This is actually the absolute value of x. Do you remember that? Look, look at this thing here, right? Do you see how much this looks like that weird bouncy V shape, right? It isn't exactly the same because what I've got here is not exactly x squared, is it? It is, in fact, uh, this is x squared plus 5x plus 6. So this bit on the end accounts for, it's slightly different. It's slightly different. But if you went to Desmos and you put in y equals, in fact, if you went to Desmos. If you, when you go to Desmos, if you put in x squared, let's call that guy f of x. Right? Oh, what have I done? Equals. There it is. Right? And now if you say, let's do the square root of f of x. Does that look familiar? Right? Sorry, let me make that a little easier to see. Right? So that's what we're getting basically, but in this case, because we're off a little bit, in here it's a little bit sneaky. Okay? Now, I want to make a parallel. Come back to, do you have that page there where you did squaring? Do you have it? Yeah. Um, here's a good example. Okay? So this is when we did the squaring, right? Now you knew how I drew the y equals 1 and the y equals negative 1. Right? And in here, what happened was, if you square these small values, they get smaller. Did you notice that? See, there's a small value, and this one's smaller. Here's a small value, this one's smaller. And if you square a big value, it gets bigger, right? Big value gets bigger. Uh, big value gets bigger, right? What we're doing right now is the exact opposite of that, yeah? We are doing, whoop, have a look at this guy now, right? Yeah, see these small values? They get a little bigger. See, these big values, they get smaller because the square is the exact opposite. Okay?